Tesla just got destroyed. One of Tesla's biggest EV suppliers has turned its back against Tesla, shocking Elon Musk and the entire EV industry. While brands like Ford, GM, and Volkswagen are pumping more EVs into the market, Tesla just made a massive mistake that could hurt them badly. Panasonic has been a key player in the EV industry, especially known for supplying Tesla with the crucial batteries that power their cars. Currently, Panasonic operates a battery factory in Nevada and is in the process of building another one in Kansas. These plants are part of Panasonic's ambitious plan to ramp up their battery production capacity to a staggering 200 gigawatt hours by March 2031. But all that could be in jeopardy now. According to CEO Yuki Kasumi, there's been a noticeable slowdown in the uptake of electric vehicles in the US. This isn't just a tiny bump in the road, it's making Panasonic think twice about their expansion plans. The demand on EVs isn't growing as fast as everyone hoped, and it's causing some major hesitations. Kasumi mentioned that this slowdown could force Panasonic to delay or even scrap their plans for a third-party plant in North America. The decision isn't made yet, but it's clear they're taking a cautious approach. Why is this happening, though? Well, Kasumi pointed out a couple of big challenges. First, there is the whole issue with China, tightening control over graphite exports last year. Since graphite is a key material for battery production, this has thrown a wrench in the supply chain, making it harder and more expensive to get the materials they need. Then there's the bigger picture of global EV adoption. The transition from gasoline-powered cars to EVs was supposed to be smooth and swift, but it's turning out to be anything but. Consumers are hesitant, partially because the infrastructure just isn't there yet in many places. Charging stations aren't as common as gas stations, and it takes a lot longer to charge up a car than fill up a tank with fuel. Despite these challenges, there's an interesting twist in the tale. Chinese automakers like BYD are stepping up their game by bringing in lower-cost electric models that use cheaper lithium-iron phosphate batteries. This shift is starting to shake things up in the market, bringing more competition and possibly changing consumer expectations and demands. But while BYD is getting everything, Tesla has been left behind. Who knows, maybe this was even done on purpose to kill a giant company that's a threat to all Chinese EV makers. Tesla, along with some other big car companies, was really banking on this whole shift to electric cars. They've been pouring money into building these massive battery factories right here in the US because, you know, we're trying to cut down on relying on other countries because letting China control everything could be dangerous. But in a shocking turn of events, things have hit a bit of a snag. The hype train for EVs is slowing down big time, and it looks like we're stuck in a bit of a time bomb. Turns out, making this big switch from regular cars to electric ones isn't going as smoothly as everyone hoped. And now, a major supplier that was supposed to help Tesla ramp up its battery production has just shut down their expansion plans. Yeah, that's not great news. So here's the scoop. Companies have been super excited about building EVs and the batteries that power them, right? We're talking about a whopping $82 billion thrown into this battery building frenzy, stretching from Canada all the way to Mexico. Places like Kentucky, Tennessee, Georgia, and the Carolinas were getting in on this, not to mention Tesla's own spots in California, Nevada, and Texas. But despite all these grand plans, consumers aren't as pumped about electric cars as expected. I mean, the enthusiasm seems to be fizzling out a bit. But big names like Tesla, Ford, and General Motors are starting to feel the pinch and are pulling back on their battery factory plans. It's kind of a reality check moment, you know? Now, why is this happening? Well, it's a mix of things. First off, these EVs and the batteries they need are super expensive to make. Plus, automakers have been losing a ton of cash on each electric car they sell. Ouch. They're not just going to keep burning cash without seeing some light at the end of the tunnel. And here's another kicker. The materials needed to make these batteries, like lithium and cobalt, are mostly coming from abroad, particularly from China. The U.S. has been trying to get more of these materials from within the country, but that's been a slow and tricky process. We're talking about setting up mining operations and stuff which isn't quick or easy. The whole situation is a bit of a mess right now. On one hand, everyone's trying to move away from gas cars to help with climate change, right? But on the other hand, the infrastructure and the tech for making all these EVs affordable and reliable aren't quite there yet. And just when things couldn't seem more tangled, global politics and economics 
are throwing extra wrenches in the works. The cost of materials is all over the place. Labor costs are going up. And let's not forget the whole pandemic situation that's been disrupting everything from production to shipping. Now, if that's not enough, get this. EVs have also been killing people. Picture this, a shiny, high-tech Tesla, the kind of car that promises to whisk you into the future, cruising along the iconic San Francisco Bay Bridge. The driver, feeling confident and relaxed, has the car in full self-driving mode, a feature that Elon Musk, Tesla's larger-than-life CEO, has been heavily promoting as a $15,000 add-on. But then, in a dramatic turn of events, something goes terribly wrong. The Tesla, supposedly in full control, malfunctions, causing an eight-vehicle crash on Thanksgiving Day. This is no minor fender bender. Two juveniles are sent to the hospital, and the bridge is choked with traffic for hours. This harrowing incident is just the tip of the iceberg. The driver of the crash Model S told authorities that the vehicle, traveling at 55 miles per hour, abruptly shifted lanes and braked, slowing to about 20 miles per hour, leading to the catastrophic pileup. But wait, there's more. The US NHTSA has linked a staggering 392 crashes to self-driving and driver assistance systems in just 10 months, and about 70% of those involve Tesla vehicles. We're not talking small numbers here. 273 Tesla vehicles using autopilot, or FSD, were part of these incidents. Honda cars were tied to 90 incidents, while Subaru models were involved in 10. The others include Ford, GM, VW, and Toyota, had five incidents. Xi Jinping also dropped this brutal export sanction, which will mean that China will no longer help the US with graphite and lithium. We're talking a jaw-dropping 91% plunge from the previous month. Picture this. One day, there are over 45,000 tons of this stuff ready to ship, and the next, it's down to just 3,973 tons. It's like someone pulled the plug, and poof, the graphite's gone. The new measures will ensure the domestic supply of graphite for military use, such as in the aerospace sector, as well as domestic battery making, said Chang Qi, a Chinese analyst. And if that wasn't enough to make you spit out your drink, China didn't stop there. They also put a ban on exporting tech to make rare earth magnets, which are like the heart and soul of EV motors, wind turbines, and all those gizmos that make modern life tick. This is big league stuff, folks. We're not just talking about keeping a few secrets under wraps. This is about holding the keys to our entire EV market. Now you might be thinking, so what? Can't we just find this stuff elsewhere? Well, that's where the plot thickens. The rest of the world, including the big players like the US and Europe, has been caught with their pants down, relying on China for nearly 90% of this critical material. And with China tightening the noose, it sent everyone into a frenzy, scrambling to figure out a plan B. Imagine being all set to roll out fleets of shiny new EVs, only to find out the essential ingredients are now behind a massive firewall. That's exactly what's happening. Automakers and tech giants are now in a race against time, trying to find alternative sources, or even other materials that could do the trick. But it's not as easy as just picking a new supplier. We're talking about rethinking entire supply chains. The timing couldn't be worse either. As the US presidential elections are around the corner, Joe Biden wants to make a statement by pushing companies to build more EVs than ever. But now, all his dreams are shattered. So what's next then? Well, these car companies are trying to figure out how to navigate all these bumps. They're scaling back some of their big spending plans and rethinking how fast they can realistically make this electric dream happen. For Tesla, this might mean cooling their jets on some of their newer models and factories. And for other car makers, they're having to delay or even cancel some of their EV projects. But hey, it's not all doom and gloom. The folks who make these decisions are still pretty optimistic about the future. They think that even though we're seeing a bit of a slowdown now, electric cars are definitely the way forward. It might just take a bit longer to get there than they thought. In the meantime, everyone's kind of watching and waiting to see how things will pan out. Will these EV stocks bounce back? Can the battery factories really get off the ground without relying so much on other countries? Only time will tell. But one thing's for sure, it's going to be quite the ride figuring it all out. So that's the lowdown on the whole EV and battery drama. It's a bit of a bumpy road ahead, but hey, that's how it goes with big changes, right? What do you think about all this? 
Are you still keen on the idea of zipping around in an electric car someday? Or does all this news scare you a bit? Let me know in the comments below.